here. Uh, just so you all know, these Zoom norms are nothing new if you've been here with us before. Um, we do password protect our meetings so that we can make sure this is a safe space just for our girls prep community. Um, we do monitor the chat stream. So you've got a lot of staff members, your grade team leaders and other people here today that can be uh, responding to questions in the chat as we go. You can also use the raise a hand function. Um, if you've got something uh, that you need to share um, while we are going through the presentation. Um, so please feel free to use that. But again, typing uh, questions in the chat, we will have staff um, monitoring and responding as we go. And one quick reminder, thanks to everyone for just making sure that you stay on mute unless you're coming off to ask a question. It just helps with the background noise and uh, gives us a better audio quality. Next slide, please, Ms. McCullough. Awesome. So our mood meter, Ms. Lopez, do you wanna come off mute and talk a little bit to families about our mood meter and how we wanna check in with them today? Sure, we last week checked in and did like a where are you feeling on a meme meter, um, but we are introducing Ruler, which we've talked about before. Um, so we, this is one of the tools on the, our Ruler curriculum that we will be using. It looks very different than this. You actually get to plot your chart, but we want to just for you to pick a color first and then see if there's a word there that applies to how you're feeling and go ahead and drop it in the chat. And no color is a bad color. So don't run away from the red if you're feeling red or deep blue if you're feeling blue. This takes a lot to be transparent. So I really appreciate everyone making the effort to pick one and not just go with like happy or okay or fine. Um, like I said, this is one of the tools that we'll be using with students in a very different way. This is kind of just like me giving you a preview preview, but we will be introducing this more and not just with students, but we use it with staff and we wanna be using it with families. So this is even something that you can implement at home. And we'll be talking more about this throughout the year. Thank you for commenting in the chat, Ms. Kyle, we can go forward. Amazing. No, I'm not an astronaut taking off for a, something strange that wears big headphones, but I want to know if you can hear me. Can I just get a thumbs up? If, oh my gosh, they're working. Look at that, folks. One day I'm going to figure out how to use my Bluetooth headphones on a computer, but today's not going to be that day, doggone it. So we're going to use these, which the kids use when they're doing Read 180. Look at that. Um, so we are excited to have some grade level highlights and shout outs from our grade level team leaders who are on today. So if I could have Ms. Colgan just come ahead off mute and just share some fifth grade highlights from the week. Then we'll go sixth through eighth grade and our team leaders can just come off mute to share. I mean, I have so many shout outs. So he actually did shout outs for students in grade team recently. And they just, it went on for a long time because there is a lot to shout out about the fifth grade. Um, from meditating and doing so much mindfulness in history to uh, movie parties where sisterhood really came out when there were some tech struggles and they made it work so that we could watch a Disney movie together which was really fun and really sweet. I know the week before we had done some Disney karaoke, so it was fun to actually see the movie from some of the songs that we had been singing. Uh, we even had shout outs for all the hard work. We have a lot of math lovers in the fifth grade, which is really exciting. So a lot of students showing up for math office hours and just attendance. We are up to, I believe 92% was the lowest we've had so far. So we're just climbing every day, which is extremely exciting. Fifth grade is doing an amazing job, so keep it up. 
and we're really happy to have you. Hey everyone, uh, Mr. Marr from sixth grade. Uh, we just wanted to shout out, I was talking to a lot of the teachers today, um, especially uh, in advisory. Uh, so we know that SC got a new student today and all of their advisors were super, super proud of how we welcomed our new scholar into our class with welcome, like open arms. It's not easy to join in the middle of the week and then have to meet all these new students and teachers virtually. Uh, so the SC advisors were super, super proud of all the scholars today. Um, in RBG, uh, Mr. LaRose has been just shouting out RBG for their attendance and their punctuality of just like getting the whole hour because they're always there on time. They're, all of them are always here. Um, and he's super proud and happy to be able to teach RBG this year. And then for me in ER, um, we've been doing like questions and get to know you every morning in advisory. And it's just super awesome to see all the kids participate and show me and tell me all the weird things that they like to do or only want to eat ice cream for the rest of their life. Um, so it's been really great getting to know everyone. Hey everyone, this is Miss Walker for seventh grade. I see in the chat Miss Lopez kind of got a head start on my shout outs. Um, I was also going to shout out BDT for being such a welcoming community this morning uh, with a new student that we have in seventh grade. Um, wanted to give a special shout out to my advisory, CH. Um, I was looking at the numbers for class attendance and advisory attendance last week. CH was the only advisory that had 100% attendance and we had it multiple days. So I'm really, really proud of those girls and those families for making it happen every single day. And Ms. O'Daniel and I wanted to shout out LL in particular. We were so impressed by the level of discussion they were having when we were talking about our first text of the year on Tuesday. Really excited to see where the rest of the year goes with that class. Good evening all, Ms. McCauley here for eighth grade. Um, eighth grade has been killing the attendance um, from day one. Um, it's really cute that the other grades are now catching up, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I wanna give a special shout out to my advisory HR HRC. Today they did vision boards um, and it was really amazing for them to like wake up on a Wednesday, a cloudy day and share out things. We were talking about cartoons, some cartoons I've never even heard of because it's way past my time. Um, and just recognizing like the hard work that the eighth graders are doing right now. A lot of teachers have shared out that some students, uh, a large majority of our students in our grade are at 100% work at submission, 100% attendance. And, you know, just getting their cells focused for transitioning to high school and just like mentally preparing themselves for like their departure from girls prep, which is going to be super sad, but we want to enjoy every moment, even if it is remote. Um, and I'm just like really proud of this eighth grade class with like how mature they are and like how responsible they have been. Um, and I guess that shout out comes from like the seventh grade with Miss Walker and they always talked about like the responsibilities they had and the consistency played a really big role in that. So shout out to Miss Walker. I guess in seventh grade. <laughs> As you know, we are slightly competitive staff um, and that trickles down from teachers to students. Um, but we'd love to hear um, from some families. If there was a particular shout out or highlight from these first few weeks of remote learning that you'd be willing to come off mute and share, we would love to hear um, from at least four families. No pressure, but kind of pressure. It can be a student shout out. It could be a staff shout out. It could just be something awesome you saw your scholar do this week in remote learning. I want to give a shout out to Natalie. She's um, Athena's point advisor. She's uh, been the backbone because the computers has not been working for my daughter. And as I stay on the phone with this woman from seven in the morning to nine at night, which I know she's home, just to make sure Athena's computer is working. 
So she's been wonderful. She's also her theater teacher. Thank you so much for sharing that. We love Miss Natalie and shout out to Points of Contact for holding it down. Hi, this is Samara's mom. Can you hear me? We sure can, go right ahead. Okay, great. I'd like to give a shout out to Samara Carve in seventh grade. Uh, she is very motivated uh, this year. Um, no problems. I'm excited about that. And I also want to get a shout out to the whole seventh grade uh, team. They are doing well in keeping Samara motivated. And I want to give a shout out to Samara's point of contact, Ms. O'Daniel. Um, keep it popping. All right. Absolutely. We will translate that message exactly to Ms. O'Daniel. Keep it popping. Thank you. And Tell Samara we're proud of her for a strong start. She's online. She's on Zoom. Awesome. What about a fifth grade family? Do we have any fifth grade families out there or sixth grade families? Because I think Athena's in fifth grade. Any sixth or eighth grade families on here? Hi, this is Leilani's mom. And um, I would like to give a shout out to like, the whole eighth grade team um, for whatever reason. She, she loves her teachers and she seems to be a little bit more motivated. Um, I don't have to be on top of her to do things. <laughs> so whatever you guys are doing is working. Thank you. You guys are great. <laughs> That's awesome. Tell Leilani that we said hello. And let's just have one more if we can. If there's a seventh grade family out there, we'd love to hear from you. Or hello? sixth grade. Sorry, we heard from seven. I can't keep. Thank you, Joanne. I should turn the mic over to you because I'm sure you. <laughs> if there's a sixth grade family, we'd love to hear. All right, well, I'll round us out with a sixth grade shout out. I think I see Mo on here. And if I'm right, Mo is the father of one of our brand new students, Madison, that joined in sixth grade today. If that yeah. is you out there, is it you? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm here. Hi, um, awesome, welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, good, uh, quick shout out. You guys have been very attentive and very on point. So I really got to give you the thumbs up because y'all been on y'all been on point since I, my wife had gotten a call and she's been accepted to school so you know as of today I've seen how more attentive you guys are when it came to just trying to figure out this laptop situation and the scheduling and everything else so I really give you guys a salute uh, Ms. Hershon she's been a big big help very big help so big shout out to her as well um and the teachers are she my daughter's loving it I have she's already on it so she's loving it so i thank you very much oh thank you that was really we were so excited to welcome her uh today she was about the cutest thing in the world ready to go <laughs> uniform ready like i got this i'm not nervous yeah. just let me at it she knows um, she's on it Absolutely. Well, welcome to welcome to Girls Prep. We're excited to have you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. All right, Ms. McCullough, you want to go to the next slide for us? Awesome. Just a few updates and reminders for everyone. Um, so supplies, distribution, and locker clean out. Ms. Tonko, I'm glad you're on here because I know Leilani has been ready to get in her locker for a good minute. 
um, the week of September 22nd, we will be setting up supplies distribution and locker clean out. Now, please know you're, you or your scholar are not actually coming in the building to clean out a locker, just to pick up belongings that we've cleaned out of lockers for scholars. So again, the week of September 22nd, during that uh, three-day window, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, we will be setting up supplies distribution and you'll be able to come get things um, that were left in your scholar's locker back in March. We did throw out the ham sandwiches. If those were left behind, no need to fear. We got rid of those, but all of the other things you'll be able to come retrieve. And in the supplies kit, you'll get everything your scholar needs for remote learning, including her first novel for her first ELA unit. We're really excited to get books in students' hands um, as opposed to just reading off of a screen. Um, I know I'm an annotator in a hard copy. I need to be able to write things down. So you will get your first uh, ELA novel. We'll also have independent reading books available for pickup at that time. So more to come. And if you have specific questions, Ms. Denolis, our um, Assistant Director of Operations, she's the one spearheading this project. So you can email her at adenolis at girlsprep.org if you have any questions. Um, the live schedule, which has been shared with parents via email in Kinbo, with your scholars via their Girls Prep email, and is posted on all their Google Classroom, that will be updated for week four by Friday, end of day. Just a reminder that this is the last week for the half day synchronous, half day asynchronous schedule. As of next week, which is week four, how in the world we got to week four, time's flown by. Um, we will have full days of synchronous instruction. So scholar schedules go from 8.30 to 4 p.m. And it will be full days of live instruction. I just wanna reiterate this again, we are not going to ask your scholar to sit in front of Zoom all day long with no breaks and no independent work time in front of a camera. So when we say it's full day live instruction, it does mean that they are going to have live class for each content area throughout the day, but teachers are working really diligently to ensure that there is independent work time built in where students can get off camera to do their work, um, but that the teacher is still there to support with um, with instruction and with questions. So know that that will be updated. Um, Joanne, I did see a question pop up. I can't see the full chat about the Wednesday schedule. Wednesday is going to remain a half day schedule for students. So students will have, for, advisory starts at 8.30, just uh, like normal. And then students will have office hours and small group time on Wednesdays between 9 and 12. They will have asynchronous work time in the afternoon. So they'll have time to complete asynchronous assignments. They'll have time to do their independent reading. But Wednesday schedule will remain office hours and small groups from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, you, uh, you can actually leave them with me. I'm the principal. Sorry, we got a delivery and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick that up since I'm still sitting outside. Um, awesome, so Wi-Fi support. If you do not have access to Wi-Fi at home, we are committed to helping. Uh, we wanna make sure all of our scholars have a one-to-one -one device and have consistent Wi-Fi. Um, please email support at publicprep.org. Include your child's full name, your home address, and your device type and the computer's MAC address. Now, if you're like me and you're going, I have no idea what a MAC address is, um, we're gonna drop a link in the chat. It is a really quick 15 second video that'll show you how to do that. But again, if you need Wi-Fi support, please email support at Public Prep. We'll get that link dropped in the chat for you so that you can access it. Um, it might be easiest, I'm going to reshare the slide deck with all of our DLT leaders so it pops up for you so that um, Ms. McCalla, you can keep presenting and someone can help you by dropping those links in the chat. I placed it in the chat so you can. Oh my gosh, you're just a way better facilitator than me. Thank you. 
I was hoping you were going to say amazing, but that's okay. Amazing. Yes, you are. Thank you, Ms. McCalla. Next slide for us. I read every day challenge. So if you read our public prep family newsletter this week, which I, I or the most recent one, which I hope you did because there's great information in there coming out every Thursday. Um, you know about the I read every day challenge. So we are really committed to building a love for reading in our scholars, not only because Practice with independent reading is one of the best ways to prevent any sort of learning loss and to accelerate scholars progress. It's also because reading is awesome. Um, and I'm not saying that just because I'm an ELA teacher at heart. Um, and so this started at Girls Prep Bronx Elementary, but it is now uh, a challenge we're issuing to all of our scholars, which is to read every day and families, we would love for you to share photos of your scholars reading every day on our Lower East Side Middle Facebook page. Um, we would love to all of the that are Again, that's private just to our piece. So if you post a photo of a scholar, um, the PDIT are going to be the people that are uh, a part of our Lower East Side Middle community. And we would just really love to see the photos of your scholar reading every day. So please, uh, please get on board because I get really, really jealous when they put pictures of other campuses in the family newsletter and then we don't see a Lower East Side Middle picture there. So don't leave us hanging on this. We gotta, we gotta represent. Next slide, please, Ms. McCullough. Awesome. Chromebook and tech issues. Just a reminder, we've had very few instances this week of scholars just not being able to get in class. But in the event that your scholar cannot get into a Zoom class next week when we have the updated schedule, please email the school leadership team. So our listserv is gplesmslt at girlsprep.org. You can also text your point of contact, but knowing that teachers are going to potentially be teaching and not be able to respond as quickly, we would like you to reach out directly to the leadership team along with your point of contact so we can make sure that we get uh, your scholar in class. Again, we appreciate your flexibility and patience. We try to avoid tech issues as best we can. But even as we saw today with the chat and choose, sometimes it happens. And so we will work as diligently as we can to get that resolved. If your Chromebook is malfunctioning, so you are having a problem, a tech challenge, something's not working correctly, the camera won't turn on, please email support at publicprep.org. They will be able to help you problem solve um, if it is a public prep issued Chromebook. If you are using your own tech uh, device, speak with your point of contact. Our teachers are incredibly talented at tech problem solving in a way that is uh, inspirational. So they may be able to help you problem solve on your own device. But if it is a girls prep issued Chromebook, please email IT support. Um, they can help determine if it is a hardware issue that will require a new computer or if it is something that they can uh, log in remotely um, and fix for you. And if you need a Chromebook, so let's say you didn't at the start and for some reason you do now, Tech Pickup is now happening every Monday from 4 to 6 p.m. at The Boys Prep in the Bronx. We are encouraging all families, um, if you need Tech, to take advantage of this day. There is a Tech Agreement form um, that will drop in the chat right now as well. You fill this form out before you go to pick it up so we can make sure that we've got everything that we need for you. Um, but it is going to be again, Mondays 4 to 6 p.m. at Boys Prep. If you absolutely cannot go to Boys Prep for whatever reason, please let your point of contact know. We will do our best to work with you and to be getting, uh, to, to get a computer to the Lower East Side but the fastest way is gonna to be to go on Monday to Boys Prep. If you cannot, please talk to your point of contact so that we can make arrangements and ensure that your scholar has access to tech. 
Thank you, Ms. McCullough. Awesome. So uh, this is just a reminder of the eighth grade high school meeting that's coming up. And I'm just gonna uh, let Ms. McCullough come off mute uh, for eighth grade families as a reminder of what's to come. Thank you, Mrs. Strong. Um, yes, this is a reminder on the 23rd, I'll be holding a high school meeting. Thank you for you, some of the parents who've already scheduled individualized uh, meetings with me. Please make sure you check your email because I sent out a link for us to set up a meeting so I can have these one-on-one -on -one meetings so I could spend each time with you guys going over, you know, specifications for your daughter that may be different for each and every one. Um, we do have some good news about SHSAT. I'm hoping to get confirmation by the end of the week. Um, we're looking like we may be doing a prep program with Stide Prep, so I'm super excited about that. Um, but I will have more details come Friday. Um, and then I'll talk about school fairs, high school tours, and absolutely everything like that. But like I said, if you have not scheduled an individual meeting with me yet, please make sure you reach out um, and look through your email and schedule a meeting to set that up. Thanks, Ms. McCullough. All right, um, before I talk about this last slide, um, before we go into breakout rooms, while I am sharing this information, it would be super helpful if you could change your name on Zoom to just the number for your scholar's grade level. So if you are a fifth grade parent, if you could rename yourself with a five, sixth grade parent, rename yourself with a six, et cetera, uh, Ms. McCullough is going to split us into breakout rooms in a moment by grade level, and that's going to make it a lot easier for her to know who goes where. So again, while I'm sharing this information, if you could also just rename yourself by your scholar's grade level, that would be super helpful um, with the breakout rooms. Um, so while we're doing that, this is my plug again for the New York Public Library digital um, library card. This is free and this is critical to scholars being able to access independent reading material. We are going to provide scholars with some hard copies during supplies distribution, but this account is incredible. Please make sure we're going to drop. Um, I see a lot of people coming up that we can't rename. Um, Ms. You McCullough. Drop, if you could just drop your name and the grade level that your scholar's in, um, in the chat, I can do it, but I'll just take me a little bit longer. I think the settings might be off for you guys to change your name. I think that might be the issue. Got it. Thanks, Ms. McCullough, and thank you, parents, for your flexibility. We'll see if we can get that uh, setting adjusted for next time. Thank you for putting it in the chat right now. Um, so, again, New York Public Library digital library card. We're going to drop resources in the chat so that you have them. We are highly encouraging all families um, to get their scholar access to this. Um, it, you can literally have 300,000 ebooks and audiobooks available for free. So particularly for any scholars who may need some su uh, additional support with reading, having access to the audiobooks for their ELA class novels so that they can listen while they read is going to be really key in terms of access. Um, and so we are, again, highly recommending and encouraging that you sign up for this free card with the Simply E app. Um, and it will again give you access to both ebooks and it'll give you access to audiobooks. Um, and we will make sure, Ms. Colgan, if you don't mind potentially going in the slide deck um, and just grabbing the links to those YouTube videos and dropping those in the chat. Um, that would be super helpful so we can make sure parents have that. And then Ms. Thompson, I see your hand is up. Do you want to come off mute uh, before we go into breakout rooms? Oh, that was by accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not a problem at all. 
not a problem at all. And I see an iPhone also with a hand up. Not sure if it was an accident or if you um, have a question. Yes, I can um, change my name. What? It is it is a little hard to hear you if you are on the iPhone and you came off mute to ask a question. It's a little hard to hear the question. If you don't mind putting it in the chat, um, we can make sure we get you an answer. All right, thank you, Ms. Colgan. I see that you've dropped those links there. I know Ms. McCullough is furiously creating these breakout groups. Just to preview, once we get into our grade level um, breakout rooms, there's gonna be one thing slightly different this week. The seventh grade family members are going to be in a breakout room with Ms. McCullough because today is the seventh grade high school family conversation. So rather than getting your tech support with Ms. Walker again, you will be with Ms. McCullough getting the key information that you need about seventh grade and the high school process. Ms. Walker is going to step in for Ms. McCullough with eighth grade families just to support with any ed tech challenges that have come up. Ms. Colgan uh, will be with our fifth grade families, Mr. Marr with our sixth grade families. This is the time for you to surface any specific questions about accessing Google Classroom, about viewing scholars work, about how do you see the classwork for the day. Um, they're gonna walk you through some basics, but if you have very specific questions, we encourage you to ask those in the breakout room so that um, your grade team leaders can get those addressed for you. And Ms. McCalla, you just let us know how much time you need. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Amazing. If you wanna go ahead and open the rooms, Ms. McCullough, and for the people that you do have it ready, it'll help you, uh, there will be fewer names to pop up. If you wanna go ahead and hit open, then the grade team leaders can get started um, and we'll add people as we, uh, as we can. And I'm sending you shine, you're doing a great job. Thanks again for your patience and flexibility, families. We can take advantage of this time. If anyone has um, additional questions that you just want to surface that are not tech related, um, you can feel free to use the raise a hand function and then we'll call you off mute as Ms. McCullough gets us wrapped up.
Yes, ma'am, Miss Martin. I see in the chat you accidentally went to the sixth grade room and I see your hand up. Do you want to come off mute? Yes, ma'am, Miss Martin, I see your hand up. If you want to come off mute, we're going to get you to the I, right um, room. Yeah, I, I got an invite for the sixth grade breakout room. I need the seventh grade breakout room. I know. Yeah. I, I literally cannot remember that she is now in seventh grade. That has to like be in my head. <laughs> sorry, that is my fault. I saw yes, a teacher. I was like, uh oh, hey, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> Hi. All right. Let me fix that. Okay, I moved you to seventh. You should get a request okay, now. Okay, got it. Uh, and Miss McCullough, I am. Uh, I'm going to try to log back in on my computer. If it is helpful, you can transfer. You can try to transfer host back to me. Um, okay. So that I can get you can get in the seventh grade room. Let me see if this uh, will connect. I think I finished everybody. I think the only one I did not see something for was Chris Buckley. I don't know if I missed his name. Everybody, I think the only one I did not see. That I believe is I I think it's Safari Stack. Uh, it should be okay. seventh grade. Okay. Even though I refuse to believe Safari is in seventh grade. Okay. Uh, Okay, the people that are still in here, I sent you an invite. I don't know if you've seen it, um, but you have to hit join. Caitlin, do you want to stay in this main room or did you want to go to a certain room? Okay. Well, you can send me to the high school one or seventh okay. grade. Okay. Seventh grade. So Thank you. You're welcome. Clarissa, who's Clarissa? Clarissa should be in a room. Okay. If you want to transfer host to me, I'll try to take over for you, Ms. McCullough. Okay. If, in case anybody gets um, How do I transfer locked out and while I'm in it? If you uh, go to my face and click on the oh, yeah. three dots and it'll say make host. Oh, but then if I transfer host, I can't present. Um, oh, yep, you can, because I will, uh, You can present in your own room. Okay, okay. Hi, for Luis, I sent a invite for the fifth grade room. You might have to pull it up. I don't have access anymore. Actually, can you send me to breakout room three, Jess? Because I don't have access anymore. Yep, I will. Give me one second because it just uh, kicked me offline, which is super helpful. Okay. Apologies. Okay. I am going to try to get you there right now while it is up and working. Um, you said you made me the host, uh, Ms. McGullin? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any of my host abilities no more. So it says you're the host. Oh, man. Uh, oh, you made me host on my phone. And I need to be host on my computer. Man, this is really, uh, for all the parents that are in this uh, struggle with us right now, I really appreciate your patience. I know this is not ideal. And if you have specific questions, please uh, don't hesitate to just come off of mute uh, right now so that I can answer them, even if you're not in your grade level breakout room. Miss McCullough, I'm going to try and put you where you need to be. Um,
as soon as I can. But for whatever reason, it is not giving me the option to put you anywhere. Um, well, you want to give me back hosting abilities? I, I guess because for whatever reason, I don't even, uh, it won't let me see anything on my computer. I'm going to send it back over to you. Okay. Um, so for, I just want to do these last two people, Clarissa, sorry. Clarissa, I don't want to see that. Miss McCullough, you can leave them in here with me and I'll take the questions just because okay. I'm sure the seventh grade families are. Uh... Something real quick. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Uh huh. Um, I, I was doing a little research on other schools that we're teaching. Ed, it isn't and I would prefer, like, the whole sex topic and how to put condoms on and anal sex and, and things of that nature not be taught to seventh and eighth grade girls. I think they're not ready for that information. Now, if they get it from other children, that's different. But to actually see a teacher put, excuse my French, a condom on a banana, it, it's not, it doesn't work. I believe that's opening them up because my daughter right now is not open to that. So for her to learn that from school is going to open her mind to sex and make her curious about it. And I don't think it's right. However, teaching her about her, her hormones and her feelings and her period and why her breasts are growing and things of that nature is different. But actually having them open to the whole sex conversation, I think it's something that needs to be done with the parents on their time, not with the teachers. So just to 100% make sure that I understand too, part of what you're saying is that the sex education for seventh and eighth graders doesn't need to discuss specific sex acts. I mean, I, I right. grownups were like sort of weird about talking about it, but right. like, I would like to see some education around what is a healthy relationship, right? If somebody texts yeah, 80 of that times, nature in the night, that's not good, right? Like how to set limits, you know, long before you're talking about who's doing what with whose parts in what places, um, you know, right. some things are for private time. Some things are, you know, like we can't assume what everybody's parents teach them at home. So we have to sort of start right. pretty, pretty basic, but I think you're right. It doesn't have to be about graphic sexual activity. It has to be about like understanding sexuality and right. The, Why and, are you feeling this way? What can happen? You know, things of that nature. And, you know, people can say inappropriate things who are grown-ups and how you know that you've been sexually harassed or, you know, like you, it's okay right. for help from a grown-up when, you know, if somebody is being inappropriate, you know, that kind of like real. Right. Or even signs of like um, a DV relationship. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Um, things of sorry. That nature. Yeah. sorry. I apologize for the delay. I just popped in. I'm not sure what I walked in onto, uh, but that was a lot. Um, <laughs> wow. And we're having a discussion uh, about sex education. That's yeah, all. Yeah, um, I've been at Girls Prep for seven years, and I've never heard us ever teach that kind of context that you're referring to. So I'm not sure where we're getting that from. I actually, in the seven years that I've been there, only had one parent opt out who did not feel comfortable what they cover sex education. So I think you have absolutely nothing to worry about. I don't think there's no bananas unless it's in the cafeteria um, and hopefully no condoms unless they're with adults. So do not worry about that. Um, I do apologize for the way I do want to start with the high school um, admissions process. I do want to say I met with the seventh graders this week and last week and I, I just like am beyond floored with like how focused how ready they are, like how prepared they came to class with their notes and doing their work. I actually was just talking to Alexis yesterday because she turned her work in and I was like, yes, girl, turn your work in three days early. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm gonna go through everything. I know some parents have done this process before with older siblings. 
I know some people were here and did it themselves. I know for me, I'm from Connecticut, so this was a brand new process for me to learn. Um, but I'm going to share out as much information as I can and answer as many questions as I can as well. So I'm going to share my screen. Going to get out of this. All right, so who is Ms. McCall and what does she do? Besides be so extra fabulous. This is what I actually do. I know I thought this is what you guys thought I just came to work to do, but unfortunately not. Um, but I assist you with absolutely everything to do with high school and before that. How does that look? I nominate your scholars for different programs. I monitor your grades all uh, school year long. I actually have all access to all students' grades um, in the entire school because I just want to make sure that there are so many programs that are available to our children that uh, Girls Prep has been amazing with the partnerships that we have built that, you know, I want to make sure our girls at least one girl in each single grade in each single class gets to experience those type of uh, programs. Um, I also communicate any concerns that I have, um, any strengths that I see, and I think that, you know, they may be a good nomination uh, for a certain program that you may not be aware of. And I also assist with high school, not just public, but charter, part, private, boarding, and specialized high schools. Um, so just thinking about that and like where your sixth, sixth graders need to be um, that, you know, uh, I'm sorry, your seventh graders, this is going to take me a little while to get used to saying, uh, your seventh graders need to be for the seventh grade year and what they need to be doing. So for this school year, scholars and families should be on the same page about a scholar's overall average. Um, and starting in seventh grade, I, use, I try to use a lot of dialogue that is very similar to high school for them to get familiar with the terminology. So you may hear some of them say GPA, even though that may not be a girl's prep term, terminology. Um, if you do not, and I suggest have your scholars power school account access, reach out to your POC and get that ASAP. Um, September 25th, your scholar is supposed to report to me their first round of grades. I shared with them a tracker um, for their own personal use, how to track their grades for each class how to take their average and their number of absences. I did not do a column for state testing because obviously we did not do state testing last year. So I don't know what they're going to replace with that. Um, and like I said, they're keeping track of that spreadsheet. They, every single seventh grader has access to this. So you can just go ahead and ask, ask them about this. Building a portfolio. What is that? I don't know what that is, Ms. McCalla. So if you have a scholar that is interested in art, dance, drama, technical theater, anything to do with performing arts or the visual arts aspect, your scholars should start building your portfolio from now. Now, what is a portfolio is, I'm going to be meeting with the art teacher on Monday, yeah, on Friday, yes, we got a new art teacher, I'm so excited to be working with her. Your scholars should have at least 35 to 45 original pieces that, that they have draw, painted, um, or created, kept somewhere safe, where it can't get damaged for them to use for auditions. Any of these schools that your scholar is thinking about applying to, art, dance, drama, music, vocal, they're going to have to audition. So that is something that might be very new for some of our girls, which means they'll be doing four to five auditions um, a year because they're applying to four to five different schools. Um, so thinking about that, um, if you are very interested in like, I know the big one is LaGuardia, but there are so many other schools that are out there um, that I can share with you if you know 100% that you want to look into the visual slash performing arts type of world. Please make sure your scholars focusing on their core content classes, which are English, math, science, and social studies. It is very important that they do that as we do not have state testing for us to pull as another supplement for schools to look at. So they should know how to get their averages up, office hours on Wednesdays, small groups on Wednesdays, and then Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from three to four. Um, one thing that I talk to my eighth graders about and trying to talk to my seventh graders about is that independent reading block, kind of use that as a study hall, another high school terminology that they will learn when they get a little bit older. Use that for a homework block. You don't want to be up at 11, 12 o'clock night trying to get all your work in. It's better to get it done before dinner so you can get enough sleep. I know we start full days next week, so it's going to be a lot different. They don't have the three to four hours to complete 
uh, work. So they need to get better with their time management. Um, encourage your scholars to stand out, participate in class, ask to read out loud, type in the chat, ask for help. Um, something that we will start in my class in second trimester is grammar. Um, that is something that they've taken out of the ELA language. Um, and just making sure that we understand that uh, we are in the right space for seventh grade. Um, and just making sure that they are on track. So these are like the main things that your scholars should be focusing on in their seventh grade year. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to rush through. I just got word that I have to close out. I am gonna share this slideshow with all the families um, for you to have access to it. Um, but I just wanna share that in, in fall of 2021, your scholar will apply to 12 schools. Um, and these are the programs. I really feel bad that I have to rush through this, um, but I will do have some time. You guys have my email to reach out to me to um, get more information. But uh, I have to close out because it is after six and I know people have places to go and we don't wanna go over. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I'll make sure that I will send this slideshow to everyone that's here. Um, if you do not get it from me, please reach out to me and I will share my email in the chat. I do apologize. All right, it seems like people are closing out. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back from your breakout rooms. I know that that was not the smoothest that we've ever done breakout rooms and we truly, truly appreciate your uh, flexibility as we navigated some unusual tech challenges today. Um, but we will be back together next week, um, hopefully without tech challenges, um, back to share updates um, and give you all um, some support. Just as a reminder, our content next week for the Chat and Chew um, is really going to focus on an introduction to social emotional learning and ruler. Am I echoing like crazy? Yep, I am, great. I'm in the foyer of the school. Apologies again, this is just one of those. Okay, just put, just put your headset on and we'll be full DJ mode, it's fine. <laughs> I will close this out with the headset. So that's definitely a headset from the, like the classrooms. <laughs> it certainly is. This is how committed I was to making this doggone thing work despite my tech challenges. I was going to sit outside with my Read 180 headphones on if I could have just gotten my hotspot. I've changed your name to DJ Strong, so you are ready to go. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Good. Now it's official. Um, again, thanks, everyone. We really appreciate you hanging in until the end and your flexibility today. Uh, with the unusual tech challenges. Again, we'll be back together next week, um, 5 p.m. Our session will primarily be focused on social emotional learning and our ruler program. So we're really excited to share that with you all. As always, be in touch with us directly. Talk to your point of contact. If there are things that you need us to cover in the upcoming chat and shares, we are completely open to your feedback and we wanna make this time as useful for you um, and your scholars as possible. So if you have ideas or specific things you want us to cover, please feel free to email um, the Girls Prep Leadership team um, and we will make sure that we get that built in. So this is DJ Strong signing off from this Wednesday chat and chew. I appreciate all of you. I know you make a choice to be at Girls Prep. You could choose to have your daughters somewhere else, but you give us the privilege and the responsibility and it's something we really appreciate and value. So thank you for being our partners in this work and have a great rest of your day. And seventh grade families, I'm going to send out the slideshow that I was uh, finishing right now as we end. Absolutely. This is great. I'll send you my playlist later. I could really, Dr. Kirkland and I, you know, he does his battles. Um, you know, his, his Dr. Kirkland updates on his term tables, maybe this is the next thing, so we'll see. Or I'm a pilot, no one knows, who, who knows? <laughs> have, a great, have a great evening, everyone. It was really great to see you, take care. Ms. McCullough, I see you with your phone taking a picture. I see you, you're busted. It's so rude. <laughs>